All right, welcome back to Foundation. So I'm uh, outside the stonemason's hut, and this is how I'm going to make money because I need to fund some pretty heavy-duty expansions. And I've opened up the second trade route, or I should say the first the first trade route uh, buys polished stone for three, and we should be able to make a lot of polished stone. And we could also sell shirts. I should say common clothes if we need to. We don't have that many common clothes. Uh, again, I always forget to open up the windows here. So let's get going with what we need to do. So we've 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 only got one stone mason, and uh, or one stone worker, stone cutter, and we've got Hans at the stone mason hut. I want to build more stone mason huts. We've got one thousand three hundred and seventy bucks. We have got 77 on the happiness. Uh, two villagers are lacking food or housing. Five villagers are lacking religion. Got to build another church. Uh, I think I'm going to grab this land while I can because we have the money. I didn't want to see the money, but there it is. Uh, we're making an income of 56 right now, which isn't a lot. Um, so let's buy this piece of land right there. And then let's build another stonemason hut and I'm gonna just build it's gonna be a whole series of stonemason huts here and let's let's put them all in the same direction because we're gonna make a lot of polished stone to trade right oh I don't know let's scatter it around a little bit let's put it right there and then I want to ramp up the number of uh, stone cutters which I can do really quickly. And then, how's the old warehouse doing? We're full of stone. And, oh, I used up all the villagers. And we have uh, polished stone. I think I'm going to build another warehouse. I think this is the best idea. A warehouse specifically just to store stone. Now, where in the heck am I going to put it? Um, let's just put it on this side. I mean, we've, we've kind of made this an industrial district. So let's put it on this side, and we will put it right here, say, not here, say, and let's crank this up, and let's crank this one up, and they're going to stop working pretty soon because I think they're going to fill up, well, they, they can go up to 20, 100 stone, they've only got 20 right now. And you guys are all working on the same rock there. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Let's, we can expand the uh, extraction zone now that I own this piece of land. There we go. Okay. What did I do? I don't think I did anything. Yeah, there, I always try to right click to turn it off and that removes it. Okay. So that's the one thing. And then uh, we're, we're, this warehouse will be polished stone only. And this warehouse will be, or this warehouse will be stone only. I think that's how I want to do it. Yeah, you guys can. No, I guess I'll make this stone only and this polished stone. But anyway, we want to start trading. So we want to do the trading resources and I want to turn on polished stone. We're already selling above 25. The issue is, is that if you look at the, I guess you can't see them here, but I know that the requirements for the monastery is a lot of polished stone and we can can we unlock the church no we need more splendor so I'm gonna have to build more smaller churches we're gonna put this up to 50 uh, okay we've reached citizen good we have 121 stone in stock and 31 polished stone and how many builders do we have in this entire big city, we have a whopping three builders. That might be considered a problem. Uh, but the woodcutters already live over here. So how about we shut two of these down for now. And there's the two new villagers. And let's assign you to Otto. You're just going to become a builder. 
And Julian, you're going to become a builder. And this is up now. So this is going to be all polished stone. If I can find it. There it is. Polished stone. Polished stone. Polished stone. Polished stone. And right now, I think just one of the new villagers, as soon as they get here. Where are you? You've got to be here by now. Harry. You're the warehouse. And then for this, we're going to turn this into... Oh, I don't want to. I want to say empty stock, empty stock. Otherwise, we lose it. There it goes. So now we will accept stone in all four slots. Perfect. And we may want to turn off some of the stone creation at some point because I think we're going to be creating too much. But this is our this is our profit machine. And are we done? We are done. And the new villager will come and uh, be assigned here. We don't have to follow you anymore. Uh, what new building unlocked? I wonder. Hmm. Stone bridge, rustic church, a market, a lord manor, a wooden bridge, decorative tree, road sign, fence, decorative bush. It could have been up here. I don't think so. Oh, the rust rustic church additional parts. Let's unlock that. And we can unlock this, but I'm not going to do that yet. We'll unlock the wooden wall. And then we need actually labor influence to unlock these. There we go. Gwyneth, you are our stonemason hut number two. That, that means we need to turn this off. This now has Sig Sigismund. Uh, but nobody's attending this church. Why? I don't know. They don't like the looks of it? I do not know. Uh, how much more? We need 20 splendor. We have 6.9 splendor. We need 20 splendor to unlock this. Holy cow. Do we need extra churches um, my lord we need to choose who we want to help mm, we have 27 influence we have more than enough influence with the clergy to get the hunter's hut we need three more influence with the kingdom and Labor to unlock the stone set for the Lord's Manor. We need three more influence and that's it. So, and what do they want? Deliver bread. Five bread. I can do that actually. Help the king. Help the clergy. Help the people. It's people, right? Labor. Help the people. I'll help my people. And uh, we don't have five bread because... Wait for it. Wait for it. We're... Am I even stocking bread in any warehouse? Uh, I'm not. We don't have any warehouse for bread. We have bread in stock, but we have no warehouse. I lied. This was the warehouse for bread, correct? This was the warehouse for bread. Sorry, people. We're going to stockpile it. Two breads. A wheat. How many wheat do we have? We have 126 wheat. We hardly have any flour. Uh, this is going to turn into... Wheat, I think. And we're going to assign another available villager to this so they can deliver faster. So we can store 100 wheat and 50 bread. And I'm stockpiling bread. This might take a while. I hope I didn't take the wrong quest. And you're just standing there. What are you, what are you doing? You're on a transport mandate. Picking up some bread. That's what we like to see. Oh, there we go. Five bread is all we needed. We're delivered. Turn it off. We're done. Now we go here and we can unlock the Lord Manor stone set and the Lord Manor treasury and the Lord Manor's bailiff, bailiff office. And all we need now is, well, we're going to need some more for this. So now we need to build more small churches. Unlock the church. We have three, but we need 20 splendor and we have 6.9. Uh, church, 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 church. Where was a good spot for a church? 
I thought this was a fine spot for a church, but nobody's going here. Zero of 20. I'm really disappointed. It's offering splendor, but nobody wants to go. All right, fine. Where is another good spot for a church? How many does this have? This has zero of 20, but we have people. We certainly, surely, people are lacking food. Eh, quit your complaining. Surely, uh, the church display is just 27 of four. Oh, now this is four. Oh, look. So after a game restart, this went up to 40. Perfect. Okay. So there's a slight problem with that. I think somebody told me that in the comments, and I'm sorry I forget who it was. But basically, a game restart will recognize this. And so everybody's going to this church. That's fine. Uh, you like the wood better. Uh, I still need splendor. And the only way to get clergy splendor, in my, in my opinion, is the... Rustic church. So I would say we might as well just add on to this church. And let's put a door in the back. Not a sill. Let's just put another door. Not a round door. Door C, I think, is a pointy door. Yeah. Well, you know, it's going to be the maze church, right? And then small tower C. No, 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 no. Uh, extension B. Is this, and this is going to be pretty tall, it's going to be like that, right? Yeah, that's interesting. And this will end up giving us seven plus 7.2 splendor. I'm going to add on to the main church as well. Um, and that's going to require 190 planks and 32 tools. Uh, let's do it. Let's get it done. And then once that's done, I think it's time to add on to this church. Um, we already have this. You guys are already walking around it, kind of, because I put the trees there. That looks pretty good. But I want to put a tower up. And I like the oaks in the back, too. Um, but they don't have to be connected. So for this, let's do an edit and let's say, hey, you know what? Um... Extension B was the tower. We're going to put the tower um, disconnect a little bit from the church. We're going to put it right over here. And uh, we're going to raise this up like so. And we're going to put a doorway in it. Just a simple door A. Okay. And I'm going to move, can I move both of them? There we go. Kind of in the path the same way the other one is. If I put this back here. So that's plus 9.3 Splendor. Let's do it. We need 235 planks, which we don't have. Uh, but we do have 158 planks. All right. Look at this construction, would you? You guys have been working like crazy on this. Uh, 110 planks. We already have enough tools almost. We're almost done. And yeah, we're almost done. And so our splendor, there we go. Uh, shoot, we almost have, we have 27 splendor. Unlock the church. We need 20, I'm sorry, we have 12.2 splendor. Excuse me. And so we do need this to be built. But uh, the church is finished. Building complete rustic church. That can probably hold a lot more than 40. But it doesn't really matter. What matters is, is that it's giving us Splendor. All right, I've got unemployed. I'm sure of it. Gwyneth, Juliet, Hans, Wildebald. Okay, we're full bore with that now. I'm gonna have to build a bigger Lord Manor. A house is upgrading for sure. And happiness is five villagers are lacking food. Now, what food would that be? Let's sort by happiness. And you, Rudolph, what's the matter? Um, food, you're lacking one of the foods. I don't know what food you need. Have, have we built? 
We have not tried to build a fishing hut yet. Uh, how are we doing stock-wise with this? We've got 144 wheat, zero flour, and three bread. I think it's time we build another windmill. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Where do we put our fields? We have another spot for a windmill. Let's do that. Let's build another mill. Let's put it in right here, kind of facing the same way. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to take out some more trees, but that's how it gets done. Let's do that. And because we want to bump up the flour, which should bump up the bread. We are really low on bread, which means we're selling bread, right? Where are we selling bread at? This sells berries. You sell bread. 16 sold for 192. Okay. Uh, our planks are... We're down to 12 planks. We're down to 8 planks. How's this doing over here? And we do have unemployed, which I'll get to. So how's this doing? We don't have all our planks yet. Uh, we have two full-service sawmills. Yes, we do. And... Uh, we have... Uh, where are our... We have 36 wood, so we're not out of wood yet, but we have enough people left over that we can do that. Okay, that should crank up the wood. We made it into the sawmill, which will go right here in the... what's What ended up being the industrial district. And uh, we got stone out the wazoo, so to speak. And we hardly have any... So really, if I'm selling this stuff, one of these slots... Okay, this slot's gonna change to stone. Alright? Because I said so. And again, you guys are all working on the same rock. Just saying. I like this little road here. The fact that the trees grew up here, that's cool. You got the oak trees in the distance. That's what well, was one scary looking dude. We've got the new Lord Manor set up. And all I have to do is find it. Lord Manor. Okay. Uh, we've got the core stone door. Do we have the stone core though? No. That's. I don't want that. I want stone extension. Stone main building. Here it is. Stone main building is right here. And that's going to be coming into town. I don't know, where should we, where should we, I could build it up on the hill. I sure could. This could be way up here on the hill. I don't know how they're going to path up here. But, uh, really this, this would be a great place to store the money. Way up here. Yeah, where it's hard to get to. So let's do that. Let's, uh, building complete rustic church. Excellent. So now we have 18 splendor and we need more. All right, I'm working on it. Yeah, that's steep. This is really in the hillside there. It really is. I really am okay with that. What kind of door we got? Stone door. Where's the treasury capacity? It's not telling me. It's too bad. There's one. Uh, what do you want? Deliver 30 berries. We got 74. Uh, I'll help the king. I'll help my people. Alright, what do we what do we got here? Um I can unlock the tax I just need three to unlock the tax office. I'll go ahead and say I'll help my people. And I need thirty berries. Stockpiling, please. Just keep an eye on that. Somebody yell when that's ready to go. Alright, let's turn this sideways. Clear, clear. Turn it sideways. There, there's the front door. The front door overlooks the land that they oversee like this. Kind of in an angle, maybe? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Like that. And then the treasuries can go in the back. Like so. I think those are all connected. And that's the way it'll look. Uh, I believe that's okay. Maintenance costs 41. And, yeah, we actually need to spend the money. What else do we got? A bailiff office?
That's pretty cool looking, and that's a hell of an overlook. So what can you see from here? You can pretty much see from here, you're looking at the whole town. Right? I like it. I like it. And that didn't raise the cost any. And uh, we got to have chimney. So just get that chimney in there now. And there's the front door. I don't know how you're going to get up here. Uh, that's not really my concern. And is that all we can do? I think that's all we're going to do. So let's start construction. And we'll see. We'll see what path you take to get up there. I need 20 splendor to unlock the church. We have 18.1. Missed it by that much. So... I would say... I would say we added on to this church because this church really is kind of a monstrosity. It just doesn't look good because of the way I positioned this. Now let's edit this. And what's extension B? At four. Yep. Do it. Okay. And then we'll be able to build a church. So what path are you taking to get up there? Kind of a roundabout loop? I like that. I like the fact... I really like the fact that you're going around and up. I And this is too steep, isn't it? So you've actually pathed to go up this way to get to work. And you're coming from over here. It's not the main road. It's a, it's a new road kind of behind this Lord Manor. That's impressive. Yeah, and that's that that works. I don't like the fact that the yellow line's in there, but I, you know, what do we got? We got 1600. Let's uh, buy this and buy this, okay? Because I set them cheap in the beginning. And uh, that way we don't have to look at the yellow lines and we can look at the dirt path. It's very cool. And another way, oh shoot. Hey, you didn't tell me. Stop stockpiling. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's lacking food. <laughs> 45, 46. No, sell the food. There it goes. The food just plummeted. Um, and hopefully the happiness will increase greatly. Yeah, it's going down. Uh, hopefully they just, you know, there was a short, there was a brief period. There was a strike. They went on strike, but now everything's okay. Um, all right, so the church is up. Uh, I need to plant some bushes. Mm -hmm. Decorative tree. Oh, we can do a cypress and a fountain now. Whoa. Well, first we'll do some bushes. Uh, just do some bushes in here. And... So how are we doing up here? So it looks like, uh, we're gonna need some bushes up here. Decorative bushes, for sure. Why can't I build there? Because it's all rocks. That's a shame. Oh! Oh! Right there. And if I'm looking over here, we I got green. Right in there. Okay. Be careful. Dangerous hillside. And yeah, the road all around. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So this is going to be the path in. We're going to need some fences. Going to need some fences. That is pretty cool. And the view from up here. Let me tell you something. Let me see if I can get in here. The view from the bailiff's office is... Uh, if I can just back up a little bit. Raise it up just a little bit in here. Just looking out. There we go. The view from the bailiff's office is uh, quite impressive. Uh, you can oversee the whole city from here. I wish that pylon's not in the way. There we go. The view from the bailiff's office. Yep. And uh, there's our city. If I closed everything, you know, if I closed everything, this would actually make kind of a nice screenshot. Or thumbnail. One of the two. But uh, yeah, there we go. And you can see the back of the Slorge Manor. 
Right. So this is the bailiff's office. And that's all going to be stone, which is... Oh, that's going to look really good. Building complete Lord Manor. Oh, it was finished while I was up there. All right. Now our treasury is $4,000. I like that better. And there's the completed new Lord Manor. And uh, we definitely put a cypress tree. Let's see. What kind of decorations do we have? I don't think you'd have a fountain up here. But I think you'd put in a couple of cypress trees. Uh, you don't want to block the view, so I think we'd have one right here. And I think we'd have another one right here. And probably that's it. Yeah, and then maybe just a regular uh, decorative tree. Maybe we'd have one back here in amongst the pines. Right. Uh, you might cut one, that one down, though, if you want the view of the back side of the hill here. I'm not sure. We have to decide later. But, uh, right. And something needs to be built here. Maybe a church? Uh, but, speaking of which, is the church done? Not quite. How are we doing? What do we need? Uh, we... You're almost done. You're building right now. We're almost done. Then we can unlock the church. The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Excellent. So, we can unlock the church. And the stone light wall, which doesn't cost anything. And the church. Excellent. And the church is going to be big. God would appreciate it if you were to build a monument to his splendor. I will comply. Especially if you give me cash. Thank you. And where will the church go? I don't know. I'm thinking up on the hill. You know, we've got... I've, I've claimed this hillside now. And uh, it's... You know, I think this is... This is kind of what we want to do. I uh, have something up here. Now, eventually I'm going to build a monastery. And a monastery, I think, needs flat land. I think the monastery will go over in here somewhere. But uh, I think a church up on a hill overlooking the village is the way to go. Uh, anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for now. And uh, so we just unlocked the church. We've already got the Lord Manor built. And that the church build will be next uh so and i, I think that's uh, that's gonna be yeah up here somewhere how many parts does the church have church mm, church yeah it's got a lot of parts it's got gargoyles and doors and crosses big towers small towers yeah yeah and then of course we have walls i can put in walls as well oops we're a little out of focus there but yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, anyway, uh, that'll be next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.